Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to um how to do cloning. It's more advanced cloning. Um, I know there have been tutorials on cl on cloning before on, here on YouTube, but this one is um more advanced in the way that the mask actually moves with the actor. So we're gonna see how it goes. So to get started, we're gonna you're gonna need to import your footage. Double click on this window here, and you're going to need to import clip. Here I have clip one. And also, I'm going to need to import my second clip. You should have a, you should have about two clips. You know, you need to have two clips in order to do this. Um, now you now you have to make sure that when you import the second one to the composition, you drag you drag both of the files into the composition. But you have to make sure that this that they match up. So as you can see, they match up. And then well, what you're, what you're going to want to do, as you can now make sure and double check that to see that both of them are down here because sometimes they can get tricky and run away from you. I'm just kidding. Um, now you're going to want to click on the mask, the rectangular mask tool. And depending on the angle of your footage and if you want to have a moving mask or not, you're going to need about five, or depending, I'm going to be about using about five or six then after you're done in um, putting the masks in, um, let me just put about four. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna click the the arrow, and then you can. The reason I need five, yeah, and then you can um do this. And like I, the reason I need five here, is um. Because if I want to, let's say if I m go farther into my footage, about right here. Now. I can move this all the way over here, and this also. But as you can see, my arm here is is cut off immensely, and to, and see, and you can't see my arm without affecting my the, my actor here in this in clip number two. So this is why I have these other masks for, and I can I need to make it blend in, and to make it blend in better. What you have to do is you have to go down to wherever you're ma you have to go down to masks and you have to go to air each and every single mask you have to make a mask feather of about 25 or so I'm going to be using 25 I'm if uh, maybe something else will work for you but I'm going to be using a mask feather of about 25 and if they don't go exactly on 25 then well I guess I'm doing a mask feather of 26 um make all of them 25 even though these aren't 25 which doesn't really matter um then what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to this little stopwatch here on each and every single mask be or else when you move your mask around it'll only show the the last mask shape that you did unless you click the stopwatch I hope I didn't work that too confusingly um let's say that you didn't put the mask on let's say that you didn't do mask one this is mask one here and you went through frame by frame, and you did everything, and did all this, and let's say at the, let's say, uh, at the end, here, that you wanted this to be, see, it didn't move at all, see, so if, let's say if you wanted to have it all moving through the whole thing, it just said solitary, that's, which is why you need to have this here. And you just go through frame by frame, pretty much, and just, just it, and line it up, and I'll go towards the middle here, to give you a better example. Right here is good. Um, you want to make sure that's not cutting off of that. It's not cutting off the head here, and you want to make it look pretty convincing. Now, it doesn't have to look Hollywood, you know. Just mine don't. Mine doesn't look anything close to Hollywood. But it, you want you want to have a pretty good, decent effect. And as you can see here, my hand. This should be my hands right there. But you don't like I said. You don't want to interfere with the head. So, but make it make it look pretty natural. Um, let's see how much more. That is actually a pretty decent example here. This is actually a pretty decent example. Like, as you can see, it, it looks pretty real. The effect looks pretty real. 
Um, and that's what you gotta do. You just gotta go through frame by frame and keep doing that. And when you're finished, you should have um something that looks like this. So this is the final product. It's not um very very high quality, but it is it is pretty decent. And I I actually do enjoy the final product of this. And um this is a very very tedious task. Some people would think that it can be done in a matter of minutes. No, it, it took me four hours to do a four minute video. But the result is very very satisfying. So. I hope you can enjoy doing this work as much as I had enjoyed it. But so until next time, goodbye. <laughs>